Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Promotion. Because today I'm going to show you how to jump from one world to another. So just follow me to After Effects. Okay, you've seen what we will create today. And honestly, the portal is nice, but it's actually more impressive to walk into the new world. And actually, the new world is fully CG and all inside of After Effects. So, let's get this done. First things first, the portal. There's an easy way, well, and a super duper complex, complicated way. And guess what? You will learn both ways today. So here in After Effects, I have two video clips, both from a tripod. And let's work with that first before adding the 3D camera track to it. Because it is way better to understand in that way. The easy method. Use a pre-made portal from Big Films. They do have all that kind of stuff in their superhero pack. So let's bring this in. As this tutorial progresses, we will get more and more advanced. And now, Simply create a mask in the same shape as our portal and we do have a pretty cool looking shot already. Okay, now as you understood the principle, let's add more and more stuff to this. Here's how to create the portal from scratch. And this is intense, so if you want to skip this, you can. But in that part you will learn a handful handy tips that you may not know about besides creating the portal. It's up to you. So. We do that with a particle system. That is an emitter that shoots out particles and we can define all of that, like the look, physics and so on. So as you see here, it shoots out those glowing sparks and moves in a circle at the same time. Okay, and animating something in a circle is already tricky, but there is a built-in tool in After Effects that not many know about. So let me show you. Let's create a layer and a circle on it. So far, so good. Now I want a null object to follow that circle. So go to Window, Create Nulls from Path, and that opens up our tool. With that, you can draw a shape and control each point of the shape with a null. And yeah, really crazy stuff. But you can also trace a path. Select the path and click on it. And voila, we have a null object that does exactly what we want it to do for our portal. Now let's create a new layer and apply the CC particle world effect to it. And as we see by this cube icon that this is a 3D effect, let's also make our null 3D and call it mm, flow. And that will be important in just a second. As we are hitting the one big problem. The problem why I did not do it like that and use BigFilm's asset. Because unfortunately, the X, Y and Z position of the producer, so the part of the effect where the sparks are coming out, has different measures as our comp. Meaning my comp has a width from 0 to 1920 pixels. But the effect has minus 2 on one side and plus 2 on the other side. So that means we need to create an expression. And hey, if you want to know what this is all about, write me a comment, but that would just be too much for this tutorial. So I have copied it over into the video description. And now you can paste the three lines to the X, Y and Z. So now the producer always follows the flow null object. And if this is too complicated, you can click on the effect now, go to animation and save it as an animation preset. and call this flow preset. So next time you have a blank scene, simply create a null, call it flow and apply the flow preset in the effects panel and all the expressions are there already. Okay. Now let's play with velocity and gravity to get the look you want. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now let's add the floor and bring it to about the position we want. And in its settings, we can set it to bounce. Yeah, physics in After Effects. And I bet you are thinking about thousand ways to play with it now. I once actually created a waterfall with that. More or less realistic. Okay, 
Now let's tint this in the color you want and add a glow. Hey, oh, and if you want to have a core to this, simply set velocity and gravity to zero and done. Hey, and did I mention that you can now still play with the path on our mask and everything will update to this? For example, if you want the portal to open, you can shrink the mask and, well, get pretty crazy with this. Okay, now let's render this out with an alpha channel and you can simply use this preset in the render module and we are at the same point where we have been a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, okay, so why don't we just start the real tutorial now? I have shot this footage here and I've simply used my smartphone for that. Now, let's right click and 3D track it. And once done, let's select a few tracking points on the floor and just make sure to use some that are as far away as possible to even out the tracking and the floor for a better result. And create a solid and camera. And that solid will be super helpful when aligning our CG elements later. So let's define where our portal should be, somewhere around here. So I right click on one of the markers that is close and create a reference null. Because now I know the set depths where the portal should be. And now I use the same portal as before, make it 3D and for the set position, I can copy the position of the null object. And with the floor solid, I can find the perfect height for my asset. And this alone already looks super cool. But we want to walk into a new world. And again, we have two ways of doing this. First, you have filmed another landscape. So make sure to try to have the same speed and camera angle for the best result. But we want to apply the motion of our camera or smartphone of the first shot to our second shot. Super easy. Just stabilize your second shot around the horizon. So right click, track motion, here select stabilize and position and rotation. Now choose two points in the far back or on the horizon itself. Now analyze and apply. Okay. Now let's make this a 3D layer and push it as far back into the distance as you can because the further away elements are from a camera, the less their movement is visible within your scene. But think about like a driving shot when you film out of a window. Bushes and trees close to you move fast, pretty fast. But mountains in the back even slower and well, the sun or moon almost stay at the same point but the rotation of the camera still applies. And that is exactly what we are faking here. Great. Now we need to mask out the portal, but hey, we are clever and smart. So let's just copy the transform data of our portal and paste it onto a 3D solid. Check. Now we only have to create a mask and not animate it as it sits in 3D space. And we can now use that as an alpha mat for our second footage. Okay. And as promised, the most advanced shot at the end, walking into a 3D environment. So let's just hide the second shot for now and bring in a 3D hallway or whatever you want. So for mine, I went on Sketchfab and searched for hallway and downloaded it for free. Now just drag and drop it in. We can also enable our floor solid again. Now we can easily align the 3D model to the real floor. And to make the hallway more realistic, well, we need image-based lighting. So I create a new light, an environment light. And in here we can use a source. And as a source, I use an HDR image of, well, whatever suits your needs. I choose something close to the hallway, of course. As we cannot use a mat for 3D assets at the moment, I simply pre comp the hallway, the camera light and the HDRI and now again are able to use the same mat as we have used before. Bada boom, bada bang. This was a lot, yeah. But I have a gift for you as you have watched all of this. A sneak preview to the next tutorial that I'm doing at the moment. 
as this is also inspired by Marvel and the MCU. But was it also worth watching all of this today? Let me know down below. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun creating, simply importing models in After Effects.